The main idea behind this album basically came about because I realised that 2021 will be the centenary of Dennis Brain. And so being a British horn player, he was very influential for me and of course for countless others. And I thought that it would be a really nice way to commemorate his legacy to do a recording project. Um, so as such, I've chosen six pieces, which, which do, in my opinion, that. So I've got two pieces by composers he worked with. So Malcolm Arnold, um, his fantasy for solo horn, which actually wasn't written for Dennis Brain, the second horn concerto was, but the, the fantasy for solo horn and Benjamin Britten's third canticle, Still Falls the Rain. Um, two pieces that were written in his memory, so Francis Poulenc's Elegy for Horn and Piano, as well as Peter Maxwell Davis's Fanfare Salute to Dennis Brain. And then, of course, Dennis Brain's legacy um, was centred around the horn as a solo instrument and he commissioned a lot of new works. So the, the idea of putting two commissioned pieces in this album is to hopefully, you know, pay homage to that legacy and try and carry it on. So Roxana um, unfortunately didn't have anything for horn when I contacted her um, because I, I absolutely love the trombone piece that she has. But she's done an arrangement slash transcription of three songs, um, one originally for mezzo-soprano and the other two, uh, I believe, for baritone, which sit, I, I have to say, <laughs> very biasedly, beautifully on the horn. And so I think that both Roxana's piece and Hugh's piece um, will definitely I mean, definitely should be considered as staples of the repertoire from now onwards. One evening I got a message out of the blue from Ben asking if I'd consider writing a piece for him. Uh, I mean, I hadn't met Ben before. I know his parents. I've worked with his parents. I, I, I know his amazing reputation. Uh, he played my horn trio with two, two brilliant young musicians, but uh, we hadn't met and so this idea of writing a new piece when all my work had, <laughs> had vanished was just a wonderful thing. But actually he's put Dennis Brain's initials in as the main theme and my theme, uh, my initials, so DBBG, which I found really touching. Um, that's been really special because the idea behind this whole CD is of course to commemorate the legacy of Dennis Brain. Also, I wanted to write a piece, uh, I, I know that Ben had played my horn trio, which is a very angular, much more rhythmic and uh, athletic sort of piece. And I, I, th I thought for, th for this, it'd be nice to write something um, much more lyrical, much more contemplative. Um, it does, it certainly works itself up into a much more sort of passionate kind of climax a couple of times really, where the horn really is wailing for, it's not a lament for anything specific, it's, ju it's just an exploration of that kind of feeling of loss that, that you know, that we, we were all <laughs> experiencing in different ways uh, in the spring of this year. Whilst Hugh has written a new piece for this album, which is wonderful, he's also playing um, for the rest of the album and as well, of course, his piece. That's been a really nice collaboration. It's our first, um, hopefully of many. And for the Britain, uh, which of course calls for our tenor, we're joined by James Gilchrist, who has a really sensational voice. Dark as the world of man. I've come here today to join Ben and Hugh in the disc of horn music that we're putting together. And I'm very lucky to be able to record with them uh, Britain's Canticle Number no. 3. It's great to be doing this work of, of Britain because Britain knew his instruments really well. He himself, of course, was an amazing pianist and he is able to conjure up at the piano uh, just perfect sonorities and knows when the piano needs to be there to support the voice or the horn and when it can uh, take a sort of more uh, background. Having these three instruments uh, together in this combination uh, in the hands of Britain I find very exciting. It's sort of, I mean I would I hesitate to say it sings itself but it almost does. If you just sort of do what's on the page, what's on the tin, it, it's there. This album will be produced by Mike Purton for Three Worlds Records.